Warnings are out that you may be ingesting more than just water if you're drinking out of plastic bottles. So there are new safety concerns that, that are eye-opening this morning. We have with us this morning Dr. Anna Gator. She is an environmental researcher with UT Health um, Houston School of Public Health in San Antonio. Joining us live this morning. Good morning to you, doctor. Thanks for being here. Hi, thank you for having me. So I'm a big water bottle drinker, plastic water bottle, water, water bottle drinker. I'm so blown away this morning. What concerns do you have? What's concerning about this study regarding plastic water bottles? Yeah, so this recent study that just came out um, was conducted by a group of researchers that utilized a new technology, a laser technology, along with the machine learning algorithms to detect both microplastics and nanoplastics in plastic bottle drinking water. And what they discovered and what's alarming is that there are far higher concentrations of these particles in bottled drinking water than we had previously sought. So now, given that, you know, we're being exposed to these higher concentrations, and we really just don't know what that means in terms of long-term long -term health risks. Okay, so what, what would possibly some health concerns be associated with ingesting these nanoplastics? You know, that's a great question. And we haven't been able to detect these nanoplastics before until the study just got published. And so I think that's where what the unknown is and that's where you know future research needs to be directed because we really don't know what those risks are we do know that we are exposed to plastics in our everyday life there are plastics in food we know it's in drinking water we know it's in air so what those health risks might be does warrant further toxicological and human health risk modeling so in terms of mitigating risk given that we really don't know what the long-term health effects are you know mitigating um, exposure such as drinking tap water, which we know has uh, lower concentrations of microplastics than bottled water, could be a way to help reduce your exposure. So I know some of these trendy water companies you see, they actually put their water in aluminum cans and bottles. What, what are your thoughts on that? I'm curious. Yeah, I actually think it's a great alternative in all honesty. Um, given that it's in aluminum packaging instead of plastic, we know that there will be at least a lower concentration of these micro and nanoplastics, given that you don't have the um, like the shedding or the leaching of plastics into that water. And then also from an environmental standpoint, aluminum is um, just a better alternative. It's easier to recycle and to reuse. So personally, I think it's a good option. And I'm also wondering if someone really likes to drink from plastic water bottles, and we know that it's just so convenient, most yeah. people do. Yeah. At the end of the day, do you feel like that's a better choice than perhaps suffering from something like dehydration? Absolutely. Dehydration, it can be very um, severe adverse health effects. Um, so drink water regardless. But if you are able to find an alternative such as drinking tap water, um, I think that is a good option just given that there's still a lot that we don't know about this kind of exposure. I would just like to emphasize though, we don't live in a sterile environment. We are exposed to contaminants like nanoplastics every day. And so how we, you know, choose to interpret that risk and what that exposure might be is up to the individual. And so there are um, options you can take in terms of mitigating plastic exposure. So if it's not through bottled water, you could reduce your intake of food that's from plastic packaging that could help reduce your risk. So it's really up to um, the individual until we know more information for further from further research. I tell you why, I've just been so alarmed as a medical reporter ever since I saw these warning bells this week. It's really nice to have more information to understand how and, and, and how it affects mm -hmm. us all. Thank you for taking time from UT Health in El Paso to, to help us out today. Thank you so much for the opportunity. All right, 842.